new changes to the guild PvP League and a new region in Land of the Morning Lights. Hello everyone, my name is Magic Pika. I'm your local stream witch over on twitch.tv and today is Thursday, which means we go over the patch notes and new events that are currently happening in Black Desert Online. Without further ado, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Also, I'm currently live on twitch.tv playing Black Desert Online together with you guys, having a chat and a little yap. So if you want to join and hang out at our stream, I'm, you're more than welcome. Everything is linked down below. So, as I already announced, we have the Land of the Morning Light. They announced in the last global patch notes that there will be a new region in Land of the Morning Lights. Together with that, we get a new whole system of 12 collectibles of tales, four new world bosses, seven black co-op shrines and sovereign weapons and much much more. So 12 collections of new tales that we can explore, four new world bosses, which is exciting, like four new world bosses. Do we get to get the sovereign weapon from maybe those no new world bosses. That is something that we still don't know and it's still quite out there, but I would say if there is new loot gainable from the world bosses, then that might be something that we can get there. I'm really hoping to do that. And f seven black shrines as co-op bosses, which will include that we now get to do stuff together with our friends or even our guild and we do not have to do them alone anymore and it's getting a little bit more of like an MMORPG feeling. That is really really exciting. There will be new NPCs and a whole new region to explore which is really really cool and a collection of new tales. And yeah, the world bosses and the shrines and corps, which are promising a very novel experience. So this is really, really exciting. So the four black shrine bosses will be released in Korea first, though, with the global regions. Uh, we'll get them on September 12th. So we do have to still wait for them for quite a bit, but do not worry. Black Castle Online has kept us going and will give us more information as it's coming out for North America and Europe as well. But be sure to notice also that currently there are strikes going on in North America for the voice actors. They are getting and wanting to be treated better and getting better paid. So be sure also to support them as well as the Cartoon Network and animators who has unfortunately now shut down and the people just want to get us our good, good animation back online and cartoons and so if you can, do be sure to support our voice actors and our animators currently. So without any further ado, there will be stuff introduced to us, but be sure to know that it is not going to be released until further notice. So just be sure to remember that. Next up, we have the new September lo daily login rewards, will be, which will be happening from August 30th until October 3rd. The main things that you can get from daily logging into Black Desert Online this time around will be as well the Radiant Shakatu seals, as well as an advice of Valks plus 80, some rare Corso training boxes and an adventure selection box. And here we have just a rundown of what we can get for each and every day. So the Radiant Shakatu seals times five, we get once this month as well as some of the Valks cries at the end of the month and an adventure selection box and some, yeah, um, enhancement loot, uh, not enhancement loot scrolls, but advice of Valks, which is really nice. We always need them. We always need them. We might dabble into some um, <laughs> enhancing for profit, which has been going. Um, how do I say it? I try to do it, but it's never really working out for me. <laughs> but currently I'm on my grind to getting the Debrekas necklace and doing it myself and getting the try and then hopefully also a Ted the Reckless and someday I'll strive for the pen but that is a long way to go. I'm <laughs> I'm really scared to enhance a pen the Reckless necklace myself I do have to say. It, it, it is it is a little bit scary. I already failed at the try. I may be a, a little bit too ambitious and have put a hundred um a hundred advice of Valks or like a hundred and five for for the stacks and the game was like oh yeah you're trying too hard we're gonna we're gonna slow you down again and then it went back to duo and then back to try 
But without any further ado, the next event that we have going on until September 26th is the 10 Symbols of Love Longevity screen that we can get for free in the game. The only thing that you do have to do is complete the pre-request uh, for soul, pre-requisite quest for soul, Imogi Clues of the Truth. You can claim it afterwards from uh, your challenge tab and stand it up and decorate uh, your little mansion or your little house with them. So after meeting the conditions like reaching level 56 and completing the Ko Mihyun Royal Decree quest, you can accept the Tale of Imogi quest if you haven't done so until now and complete it. And then you get the longevity screen for yourself. And there will be included the, fe um, the features of the 10 symbols of longevity, like the sun, the mountain, the water, the clouds, the stones, spine trees, baboos, mushrooms of immortality, turtle and a cranes. Which is really nice. Like, this looks so cool. This looks so cool. It's gonna be a nice little enhancement to our to our mansions. Next up, we have an event that has been coming back over and over um, throughout the years, and it's the unknown ores from around the world. So if you have still some on your account, you can exchange them now again with this one. This event will happen until September 12th, and you will be able to collect the unknown uh, ore from defeating monsters or go mining during the event. You bring uh, the unknown ore times 20 to Dalishane to exchange them for one of these items like the ultimate crystal combined, uh, the ultimate combined <laughs> magic crystal garmish, uh, Hoom or Makalot, which are kind of expensive and you can get a really good deal out of these as well as for the La Valtara spirit crystal, awakened spirit crystals and the black spirit crystals. But let's be honest, we want to focus on these ones. So these are only um, co um, exchangeable one time. So you have to choose one of these three to get one. <laughs> And any of the spare uh, unknown ore that you might have still on your account, you can exchange them for Trace of Nature, Platinum Ore and Rough Stones for a 100% chance. And then for obtainable according to a set probability, so with an RNG grain of salt, you can get also the combined Magic Crystal, Garbage, Makalot and Who for a small percentage. They have now added it onto the website, which is really, really nice. Like I really, really appreciate it. And this is the first time that I'm actually seeing this on the website as well. Like you now see what your chances of getting it is. And it's a 0.075 chance. It's small, but it's there. <laughs> then the be sure to like check out the zones where you're grinding or where you're mining to be sure to you that you actually get the unknown ores and i would really recommend you to now see that you are grinding in one of those zones the zones are for everybody in each class and on each class in each gear scores um range so even if you are very low gear there is still like the um Polyforest that you can do, the uh, Gaza, Bashim's base, the Desert Naga temple, a lot of um, places in Valencia that you can do as well as, yeah, Polyforest, the Fado's habitat. And if you really want to push for these things and you really want to try to get one of these unknowns ores and you haven't gotten like a lot, a lot of luck. And I do not know exactly or like I don't remember anymore if the drop event ended with this patch note. I am not quite sure, but if it has and you are missing some of the percentage, I can recommend you to try out the Archer servers as well. Those give you a drop chance of 50%. But that also means that you might be able to get uh, griefed. So if you are, if your spot is currently contested, you might be slayed uh, like I am because I don't do PvP. I'm quite a, a sweet little, like I do my PvE style and then um, I can't defend myself. But either way, if you if you want to try it out and go into the Archer servers and get those 50% drop rate, then do you. I do that sometimes especially with season characters it's a very easy thing to do over there because not many people are still on season then we have the next event which is gonna be the challenge the black shrine and ataraxian so they are trying to get back the ataraxian and the black shrine with some new um drop drop rates increases so that is very very nice so they have added now that 
defeating a black shrine boss blitz of at least calamity 5 during this event will obtain the enhancement health kit times three and if you kill two and a third on calamity five you get the enhancement eight box and an advice of valks plus 100 for sure just by defeating them which is really nice this is gonna happen until september 12th which means you get a total of two weeks um, of doing uh, the calamity five uh, bosses so if you haven't done them be sure to do them and if you are struggling with the calamity five boss blitzes then i can recommend you to do the bamboo legion which is one of the easiest boss blitzes that you can do currently be also sure to like get all of your buffs in like the church buff the food buff some draw even if you need them and your tent buffs as well the next thing on this event list is the band with other adventurers to clear at the ruxing at any difficulty during the event to obtain these rewards below so you can get the dekima token of oath times 30 and a rare light zone of fire times three just by doing the attraction on any level and if you haven't done the attraction until now you will also get a lot of silver from just doing the attraction with your friends or on your own so if you haven't done them and you want to try them out and just get it through so you can get all of the silver that you can make during a direction i can really recommend it it's like free free silver for you i think it's like in the hundreds of millions of silver that you can get but i'm i'm not quite sure so don't quote me on that one but if you haven't done them and you want to do them your own or with other people be sure to invite friends over so you can all get the rewards for free the attraction if i haven't said it yet it's a dungeon like um game play <laughs> where you also have to um complete some puzzles which is really really nice so yeah it's a fun time in attraction and then we have a horse training event so we have the ride into your adventure with your horse event which gives us a 70% of mount exp and a 70% of training exp and this will run until september 12th so mount and training exp hot time that is all we wanted for our people who are into training horses and then you can get the flower of oblivion times two and imperial training delivery invoice from the imperial delivery so if you want to if you have a lot of horses still in your um stable that you do not need now is the time or if you have stacked them up for an event like this to happen now is the time so for our tier six instead of 10 for hours of oblivion you get 20 and for tier seven instead of 15 you get 30 and for tier eight you get 20 instead of 20 you get 40 as well as for the imperial training delivery voices for the tier 6 you get the times 12 for the tier 7 times 14 and for tier 8 times 16 and the third part to this event is to capture wild horses so capture wild horses every day to get the event shining capture seal this one you can then afterwards exchange at apprentice liana which one which can be found in each and every city in each and every town like major town and then you can exchange the shining capture seal for one of these things so once per family you can get the royal fan root times 100 the gulana's course of training selection box and a tier 8 horse emblem box and then with always availability you can afterwards exchange it for the imperial training delivery invoice times three so if you want to upgrade one of your horses the royal fan route is always nice to have as well as the Gula Kula's Corsa training selection box which is gonna be really really nice it's gonna cost quite a lot so I don't know how many you can get in that short time or like how many horses you can um capture in this time but uh, you will need five for the tier eight horse emblem a three for the Gula's Corsa training box and free for the royal fan root oh my god i'm struggling today with the words i'm so sorry i'm so sorry also i filmed this already a second time so now it's now it's 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 getting it's getting to my brain then we have the new patch notes and let's talk about the patch notes because the patch notes are including a lot of the guild league regular season which will be coming back and it's gonna run until november until the end of november 
So with this, they have done some major changes. Well, major changes. They've done some changes. So first off, there was a problem that the match matching score brackets have been expanded because there have been some issues that you would get into a match with a much higher geared or like higher scored guild, even though you were like in the same bracket. But the, the guilds with scores above 1801 were all matched together. So they've now expanded those brackets, which is really, really nice. And now the maximum score has been raised to 3801. And the brackets beyond 1801 have been further subdivided. So it will make it easier for everybody who is participating in the guild league which is really really nice then afterwards they have also um added the resurrection rule because there has been apparently the issue where people haven't automatically or like they have gone into the guild league into the match but after they've been slain they haven't gotten back into the match and to get out of that problem that they have not been that they didn't revive themselves and they didn't leave the match and let somebody else join into the game, you now have the automatic resurrection that is gonna happen um, after a few minutes or like after a certain time. So the person gets automatically respawned in a certain point of the match. The rewards have also been added or like have been significantly boosted. The guild finishing uh, in the top three spots will receive up to 400 silver in guild funds, 400 billion silver in guild funds, alongside colored titles and other bonuses. And the size of the reward is intended to be before taxes to allow for proper distribution amongst guild members. They have also added new battlefields to the guild league, including the iconic locations in uh, Yang Bongguk Palace in the Land of the Morning Light, providing a fresh experience in these epic epic battles so let's have a look at those patch notes as well so now the guild league is gonna happen like this so you're gonna participate by going into your guild menu into your guild menu and hitting apply on the guild league menu so there needs to be seven to ten members who are participating in the guild pvp league the match is going to durate, like the duration of the match is going to be 20 minutes. And after the match is set, there's a one to two minute waiting time to enter the guild league. And after winning, there is a one minute waiting, minute waiting time as well. <laughs> so for winning this battle without like ending the match time, like after 20 minutes, to complete it before that, you need to achieve 1000 kills. For hitting the first kill, you get 50 points for every consecutive kill you get 10 points per kill or if you are not doing the 1000 points the guild with the higher score will in end by the end of the will win by the end of the matches my god i can't not talk i cannot talk today so they have also added the revival so upon death the characters will automatically resurrect without needing to press a revival button after a brief period within the protective veil they will be transported back to the combat zone and there is no limit to the number of of revivals there's gonna be death penalties uh, such as exp decrease and they have now added that the crystal destructions do not apply i think those ones was uh, also available beforehand but it's just nice to know that your crystals will not be affected by this change as well so penalties will also be um, given out for uh, if you get free penalties you will be banned for one week from guild pvp and yeah these are the new four uh, well these are the four battlegrounds that have been added so or like that have been there and they've had also added so the heidel northern guard camp <laughs> the naval step the battlefield of honor and the duck tap the planes and afterwards you can also go into the match results and see, see all of the match results stuff and if you are interested in who is what and how many wins and how many kills and how many damage and stuff like that you can also check that out after the match the rankings in the guild leagues are determined by the guild league points obtained when the guild league first starts you start with 400 points when you win or lose in the guild league your score changes according to the result and matches are made based on the score range so if you win you get 30 ranking points and if you lose you get minus 15 ranking points they have also changed this one in the 
point range that you're at so be sure to also check that out like if you are in the range of 401 and 600 you will get for the victory 33 points and for a loss 12 points deduced and for going into the 0 to 200 point range there's gonna be 37 points obtained and a reduction of 7 points and 8 points so in total a deduction of 15 points which is really really interesting and yeah The guild matching system score brackets has also been changed, so should be sure to also check that out if that is also interesting, as well as the combat EXP has been increased instead of decreased. The change also to our guild league rewards that you get for winning and for losing, so they have been giving out much, much more now, so that is actually, if you participate and you get the rewards, then it's gonna make much more, like you're gonna be much happier seeing them instead of losing them and at the end of the season these major these major um rewards will be distributed to the guild league ranks first second and third and as well as to the members which is really nice like there's there's a lot of guild funds and there's a lot of stuff that people themselves get like 4000 crown stones for hitting the guild league rank one so that is a nice little change I don't I, I I know a lot of people say that it hasn't been too much of a change but uh, I think back desert online has taken in all of the accounts of what is what is currently happening in the pvp scenes and a lot of people are leaving black desert online because there was no pvp for a long period which is very strange which is very strange but they are also currently working on the red battlefield so they are taking in all of our complaints and reviews of the red battlefield and uh, not red battlefield sorry of the arena of solaire and they're changing and giving a makeover to the red battle uh, to the arena of solaire as well so we just need to wait until they finish with that as well and then it will come back also the guild league it's going to happen during the weekdays from 5 p.m. to 1 a.m. and during the weekends from 1 p.m. to 1 a.m. Why they give it only like a certain time slot? I honestly do not know. The same thing is going to go and be happening again for Arena of Solaire, which I think is still strange. But yeah, we, we take what we get and we honestly hope that they take our criticism and our reviews from the people that have tried to help up. Uh, the game and so that everybody is still gonna come back in the future as well to play black desert online so that we can get the community going and the community happy because we need players to play an mmo rpg they have also added uh well increased the amount of silver received from the red battlefields wins and defeats just a small change to uh, the losses but for the wins it's quite a major change like from 10 million to 50 million and for a loss from 6 million to 10 million some item changes have also been done and they have gone over and fixed some stuff with the crescent shrine sticky lanterns with which have been added last week into our games and then just some knowledge and quest uh, changes to just um is our lives and then they have also added some new caves in the man land of the morning light in the dong Ohai province with new collectible items like the everlasting herb platinum ore and truffle mushrooms so maybe we can also set some workers out there maybe there's gonna be a note as well over there so if you are working on you are getting a good note system or like a worker empire and this seems like a good place to also have a worker that might be very interesting and for the last things last they also have deleted now the clan system so the clans will be um deleted on september 26th and the clans will automatically be, be converted over into guilds so be sure to also then afterwards promote your guild in a guild promotion function accordingly which is very very nice so yeah some fake system changes like there's a lot of changes currently uh, for the web and for the ui as well and then for the last things last we have the pearl shop update for august 
29th so we have uh, the well they changed that you can get the weekly coupon and pearl abyss one and two uh, purchase limit they have increased it from one purchase per family to three purchases per family and for 20 purchases per family for the stable slot to 50 purchases per family they have also now added the fish tank 50 slots so this is a one purchase per family and uh, this will give you fish tank in your inventory and any fish you can catch will be automatically stored only fish to fish with a price guarantee period can be stored in Korea's miraculous fish tank so i think with this um you can you can get all of those fishes and it will not take up your inventory in itself and it will be stored right into this miraculous fish tank cool very interesting for 3200 per so if you if that is very interesting to you be sure to check this one out as well they've also added the new adventure basics packs on a discount with a premium outfit box and some made for i for hire <laughs> as well as memory fragments advices of bugs and some combat life scroll boxes as well and they've added a level 61 level up pack with a stack of 140 and two times 110 that's nice that's nice that's like some real good enhancement especially for um if you need them for your black star or for your um, accessories those are some real nice stacks as well as the premium outfit box so if you are like me and you are currently like a free-to-play player and you need some crownstone boxes because you've decided to make your deck here um the Vareka necklace yourself and not purchase it directly from the central market because that seems like so, so much more of a better option be sure to pre-order a lot of outfits because you will need them i will need them as well as sanity as well as my sanity bag and yeah they've also added some stuff for our um, summer week mount variety packs on a discount as well if you need that and the viscosby and the high die which is really really nice so yeah that has been it that has been a quick little rundown in an easy kind of a way to just let me and you understand what is actually happening in the game currently yeah i really hope i really hope that they get the stuff together with the pvp so that not a lot of players are gonna leave the game which is hopefully not gonna happen but i think i think they are gonna work together with a lot of content creators and people and get the good feedback back from from them and hopefully change it's so that the, the the players are happy yet again and with that all being said and done if you want to join the stream we are currently live on twitch and if not i hope you have a lovely lovely weekend <laughs> i'm sorry i don't know what that was also i'm gonna i'm gonna give you a little hint we're also gonna have the new uh, I'm gonna publish very soon a video about Crimson Desert, so be sure to also hit the bell icon uh, because that is gonna be that is gonna be very very soon. And yeah, with that all being said and done, thank you so much also to my members of YouTube over here, which is gonna be Mus Yi Yom. Thank you so much for being a member in our Crow family over here on YouTube as well. And with that being said and done, everyone have a lovely lovely night. And see you soon. Bye bye.